welcome back to my channel. I wanted to do a talk through because I feel like I haven't done one in a very long time and it's the holiday season and I'm so excited and we're gonna do a super fun holiday look today. We're gonna be using the Kylie Jenner Dear Santa palette. I'm super excited. I've used this once before and I loved it so I haven't done a talk through in a while so please bear with me. I already moisturized my face with the Dermalogica Intensive Moisture Balance Moisturizer. Um, I've been using this. It's pretty much almost empty. I've been using this like crazy and I love it. So the first thing I'm going to do is start my brows. And recently I've been using the Hourglass Arch Brow Pencil. This is Dark Brunette. And it kind of reminds me of Anastasia's, um, their, their brow pencil. I can't think of the name right now, I don't know why. So I'm just gonna start my brows. I'm just gonna start in the front here. I've been doing my brows pretty natural lately. So I'm just going to brush them through and just fill in anything sparse. This area has been really sparse. I think I'm gonna start using um, Grande Brow, which is really good actually it helps grow your brows if you've never tried it i use they use grande lash and i like it a lot so i'm probably gonna start using that and i actually meant to pick it up today but i forgot all right that looks pretty good okay one brow filled now do the other one i know i have not been on here in a bit please forgive me i'm trying to figure out to get I'm trying to figure out how to get a schedule going again with filming so please forgive me but I hope you guys have missed my videos enough that you guys are gonna watch these so let me blow it out this eyebrow has been itching me all day I don't know why that looks good so I'm going to set with the Anastasia Anastasia I'm gonna be setting with the Anastasia clear this is going to be a video of me dropping everything, obviously. I'm going to be setting my brows with Anastasia's Clear Brow Gel. I've been using this for forever, obviously, because there literally is no more name on it. But this thing lasts forever. It's the only thing that really keeps my brows in place. I'm so mad at my right brow because I just over tweeze and it's like missing hairs. I hate that. Alright, we're going to continue with the MAC. Studio Finish Concealer Duo. I don't think they make this anymore, but I use NC25. And I'm gonna use a ColourPop brush. It's the E11. And I'm just going to conceal my brows. So they're nice and neat. I feel like I miss talking to you guys. I feel like I say this every video that I do that. Every talk through video, I, every talk through video I do. Like, I'm like, oh, I miss you guys. I miss talking to you guys. But I actually do. I hope you guys have been following my 12 days of Christmas giveaways on Instagram. I do them on Instagram because it's the easiest platform to really um, do it on. But yeah, I always do um, 20, uh, 12 days of Christmas on my Instagram. Every day gets bigger. There's more value to each one. So I hope you guys have been following that because it's very exciting. Okay, that looks good. I'm just blending out my fingers. For a base, I've honestly been using concealer. I don't know why I've been using concealer, but it's just been working for me lately. So, for a base, for eye base, I've been using Kylie Jenner's concealer in Hickory. So basically, I just do a dot here, a dot there. Maybe a third one, mini one. And I just put that all over the eye. So I'm just kind of blending it with my finger. Maybe because my eyes are more dry this time, I just like to use something a little bit more creamier. And this kind of brightens up my eye. I just like the way it looks. I don't know if I just like it. And um, I've been using it for a bit and it just seems to really be keeping my eyes nice and moisturized. So now we're gonna be using the Dear Santa palette. It matches my nails perfectly. I used this once before for a Christmas party and I really, really loved it. It's really beautiful. The colors are really fun. I know that people wanted green, but I love the red theme. I just like red more than 
green, but I do like emerald green. I don't know what I'm saying. Okay, anyway, so I'm gonna start with Reindeer Dreams. It's like this caramel, like caramel color. And I'm using a E2 from ColourPop. And I'm just going to blend this color into the crease just as a soft transition. So I'm blending that out. This color is really beautiful. I actually would wear this color by itself like on a, like during the day, like during a random day. It's actually really, really pretty. I'm gonna take this Samey 2.4 brush and I'm going to go in with Santa's here, very lightly. This one's really pigmented, I remember I used it, so I'm going in really, really light. But I'm gonna start going into the crease again. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. But we're gonna be using that red, so don't feel like I'm just doing a neutral eye, because I'm not. I'm just building it up. I'm gonna be doing something different. I'm trying to spruce it up for ha Halloween. For Christmas. Where are we? Where are we? And I'm gonna take that E2 brush, just kind of blend everything out. And these colors blend beautifully together. I'm really, really happy with how they blend. And my makeup stayed on all night. It was just great. I went to a Christmas party and it just looked bomb. I used like the really red burgundy colors. It was really Really well. I'm gonna go in with Made You Cookies. I've been wanting to use this color and I'm using it. So here we go. Made You Cookies is that bright red. I'm going in. We are going in hard, guys. Hardcore. Ooh, that is so pretty. My eyes are probably gonna be stained tomorrow, but who cares? You know, doing it for the YouTubes. It's really pretty though. I'm already liking it. But, you know, I like to build up the color slowly. I'm gonna slightly bring it up to the upper crease here. And I'm just gonna go a little bit harder on the corners there. I'm planning on doing a New Year's look too because I haven't done a New Year's look in a while. Now I'm going to do a little cutting. I'm gonna be using the P. Louise Emma Mitchell Blank Canvas. This is their collab. I'm just gonna put a little bit on my hand here, just like that. And we're going to cut, cut it. We're gonna cut it. I'm using this, this is from them actually, this brush here. It says rain on it, Asia Rain. And I'm just gonna cut this lightly. Not really gonna make too much of a base. I'm just gonna really kind of clean it up just so it looks nice and clean when I put the color down. I'm like packing it in there and then just letting it fade out to that red. Good. This brush is like perfect for this because it's like super super dead on the end. We're going into with Hint of Naughty, which is that color there. I used that color the other night. It's more of a glittery topper. So I'm gonna go on with this and just start to pat that on. And don't worry, we'll blend everything out. I actually would really like to use my finger. I'm trying to be neat at first, because this totally applies 100% better with your finger, but I want to be, I want to make a layout first, and then I'll go in my finger. Okay, now I'm going to go in with How Nice, which is that bronzy gold there. Same brush. Kind of dip into that red. Just going to kind of take any... Out and just kind of brush it away and just kind of blend that together. Oh, that's really pretty. Digging it. I think I got some in my eye. Yep, totally got some in my eye. Using the same brush because it's kind of easier and that way to make it seamless in the blend. Okay, I'm gonna go in with a different brush, a tiny Coastal Sense brush with. Santa's Workshop, which is that goldy bronze, a little bit lighter. 
And I'm just going to really pack that on there. I'm loving this because it's dealing with my favorite colors and a little bit of red. Nice. So I'm going to go on my finger now. I'm just going to pack on that red a little more. Just really, really blends it in. So much better. I'm going to do the same thing with this one with um, how nice. Kind of blending them together, mixing them all together. And then I'm going to do the same thing with Santa's Workshop. Kind of pack that on. Which is really hard to do with my finger right now, but making it work. So I'm going to use Kat Von D's liner in Trooper. You guys know this is my favorite liner ever. And we're going to do a wing. So I'm going to zoom in a little closer so you guys can get a good look. I do that to kind of really get the ink out. Just a simple wing, because we already have a lot going on. I'm going to go in with that motor brush, I totally forgot. And I'm going to go in with Santa's Helper, that orangey red. And we're just going to go above, right there, and just kind of line out right where the glitter stops. I am really going super light handed on this, because I don't want it to be that dark. Then I'm going to take the Made You Cookies, just intensify that red a little bit, and blend that out. I have rent in my head because I was watching The Office when they were singing goodbye to Michael, and I can't get that in my head. Remember to come on. Nice, okay. So we're gonna continue that liner now that that is all done. My face is like super, super creamy. <sighs> That's probably a pretty face. For mascara, I'm gonna be using the Tardis mascara, my favorite mascara. I'm just gonna put this on the lashes. I gotta get back on my grande game because when I put the grande lash, I mean my lashes are good, but when I put the grande lash on my lashes, Guys, they were no joke. Crazy long. Okay, so for lashes, I'm gonna be using Gigi Lashes and Lexi. These are super fun for these kind of dramatic looks. So also have an Invisiband, so you actually don't have to wear liner with these, but look how fluffy and pretty they are. Obsessed. I'm gonna use the House of Lashes glue. This baby right here. I really only have to cut like these little pieces off here. See those little pieces on the end? I really only have to cut those off. These these actually fit my eyes really, really well. I'm gonna just show you guys again how I just paint it. Just band. I get excellent at how I clean my lashes. Depending on how much glue is on there, I use a water-based makeup remover. So it keeps the band like nice and intact. I just got this ring in the mail. How gorgeous is that? Oh my god, I'm so obsessed. It's, um, my, my friend Paige has a line and this is one of her pieces. How stunning is that? Oh my god, I'll put her link below and you guys can use code Gianna and you'll get a discount. Mm -mm. Okay, so now I feel like I have to be like this the whole video. Anyways, so we're gonna start with the face now. Woo! So, I'm going to be starting with the Milk Primer. This is the Blur Stick. I've been loving this a lot. So we're just going to put this all over the face. And then just rub it into the skin. I blew my hair weird and it's like coming this way. Like, hello, stay back there. Okay. Foundation, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Foundation, the Luminous, I love this. And I'm using the Tarte, I think this was the Rainforest of the, Rainforest of the Sea collection brush. And I'm just going to put that everywhere. I love the, this brush. You have so much control with it. And it just blends really, really seamlessly. 
I don't like to do my makeup with my rings on just because I feel like I move I get like makeup all over them I tried just now and it didn't work that <laughs> well so all right that's nice and blended I'm gonna use amber and hickory use amber for our base and then hickory to highlights so I'm gonna use this first oh. brighten that up I'm gonna clean blending br blending brush this is a blending sponge from Tarte this is the quickie blending sponge so oh my god I love how big this one gets I'm gonna blend this out they're not too heavy they're super hydrating I never feel like my concealer is like super caked. Okay. I'm gonna do a little bit of underneath here. And then just kind of like do this with my finger and just like kind of bounce the blender. I'm going to use that new Dream or Gleam. I think I'm gonna use Dream. So I'm gonna put this on. I'm just gonna try to do a little four, four or five dots. And I'm just gonna blend it out. Let's see what happens. Oh, it just like glows. It just makes your concealer glow a little bit. That's actually really, really pretty. Oh, I like it. Okay, okay. Here for it. It gives you a really pretty glow. Wow. Do you guys ever keep, I keep doing my brows literally throughout my whole face. So I feel like I just started to see spaces that I just like completely didn't fill in. Yep, I'm using the Huda Beauty Tantor in medium. I'm gonna use this Moda brush here. I just do my nose really lightly. I've been using this Tarte concealer brush. It's like a double end. And I'm just gonna blend that out. And if anything, I'll just take my foundation brush if I feel like it's really not doing the trick. Then I'm probably going to bounce the blender off my face anyways, just to make sure it's really nice and blended. I kind of don't want to set my under eye, but I, I always do because it's just like, yeah, like put down here, I'm going to do this. I don't, but I do. You know what I mean? Because I like the way it looks right now. But going out, I need to set it. I need to start changing it up like more often because I'm such like a weirdo when it comes to changing stuff up. Just taking all the concealer and crap off my lips because that's not attractive. I'm going to be using the Kylie Cosmetics powder in yellow. And I'm just going to use my blender with that. And just kind of pack that on there. If you want that super glowy look, I wouldn't um, go over. I don't know if I showed this to camera actually. This is the Shape Tape Glow Wand that I used over the concealer in Dream. Um, so if you want that super glowy look, I would not set your under eye. Or if anything, you could just set the corners and be done. I feel like I'm a psycho when it comes to setting stuff. I don't know. I remember my friend did my makeup one time. And when you do your makeup like all the time, you're used to like a certain routine. And she didn't set my under eyes once. And I was like, wait, you forgot to do something. I was like freaking out in my own head. I was like, wait, she didn't set my under eyes. Oh! And it was like such a weird like mini panic attack that I had. But I actually really loved the way it came out. But like when you're so used to a routine and like you don't do what you usually do, not about it. I'm gonna use this Moda brush. This is a bronzing brush. I'm gonna use 
Kylie, again, um, the almond bronzer. I really, really, really love her bronzer. I know I use a lot of Kylie, but I really, really love her products, guys. If you haven't tried it, these powders, are really awesome. I'm just like to do that. Go there. I really want to wear a red lip, but I don't know how it's going to look. So I feel like I never do a red lip. Like ever anymore. I used to do them all the time when I worked at MAC. Excuse me. And I just have not done it in forever. I'm going to use Tarte's Amazonian Clay Blush. Hold on if I can get it open. Um, yeah, Tarte's, ooh, Tarte's Amazonian Clay Blush in Tipsy. It's like a really peachy coral blush. I'm going to use an F10 from Sigma. Just kind of bounce it off there. This needs to be cleaned, I feel it. You know when it gets like all really sipply? It gets like rough. So I know I need to clean my brushes. So now I like to do the under eyes while the baking, I guess you would call it, is still setting. So I'm gonna do my under eyes. We're gonna zoom you guys back in. Hi. So I'm gonna go in with Made you cookies and Santa's helper. So these two colors here, that orange brown and the red. And I'm gonna use the same brush that I used for the inner corner. And I'm just gonna go underneath there. I feel like a Christmas like a Christmas elf. I don't know what I feel like, but I feel very Christmassy and I'm digging it. Super, super digging it. I need to like really bam in the cor inner corners because it's just not bam enough for me. Um, I'm gonna put on some more mascara. I'm gonna use the TARDIS mascara again. I'm just gonna coat those lashes. I really can't do it on camera, I try to. This is like so uncomfortable. That's when I feel like my lashes are more balanced when I have my mascara on below. I feel like I'm like, oh, okay. Now I feel better. Okay, so I'm going to go in with the same brush. I'm just going to wipe this on my hand. I don't know why I'm using the same brush over and over again. I'm just like, I don't know if I'm lazy or what it is. I'm going to grab Santa's Workshop again and really, really... Go in the inner corner there and really sparkle it up. And I think I'm actually gonna add in, you know, instead, actually, I'm gonna do Secret Santa, which is that whitish color. Yeah. Yes, that is what we want. That is it. Oh my god. Yes, that is it, baby. Alright, so we're gonna wipe away all of this powder that we have here. I'm just blend that out. I'm just gonna that again. I feel like I could get away with the red. I'm gonna set my face first and then I'm gonna go in with a highlighter. So I like, I've been liking to do, I've been doing this because I feel like it just brings out the highlighter a little bit better, hydrate, rehydrates my face. And yeah, so I'm gonna use the Hangover 3 in 1 by Too Faced. And I'm just gonna spray it. Okay. And put back on my ring because I feel like I'm done with my face for the most part. And we're gonna use the Kylie. Oh my god, Kylie's like, whoa, go brazier. I'm using the Dreamin' of Diamonds highlighter. Gorgeous. It's like barely touched because I've only used it a handful of times. I'm using a Morphe M501. And bam, baby. Her highlighters just really glide onto my skin like really nicely. So there's that. Alright guys, I'm gonna use mahogany. This is like the from the Patrick Star one. And then this is yeah, gingerbread girl. Really, really cute. 
Oh my gosh, I want so much gingerbread. It's like really gingerbread. -y. This is really pretty. I feel like if you wanted to wear a red with this kind of look, this is actually perfect. Oh my god, I love it. And it's matte, and I don't wear I don't wear mattes that much anymore. Just gonna do one more layer. Wow. It's so gingerbread -y, it's crazy. Wow, oh my god, guys, I'm obsessed. Okay. So, that is the look, guys. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Hope you guys like it. Oh my god, I have not worn a colored lip like this in forever, and I don't know why, because it looks really, really freaking good, and I need to start doing that again. Seriously. So... I'm going to highlight everything. I'm just in love with everything. It just blends really, really well together. So that's it, you guys. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. If you have, please like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. It really, really helps me out a lot. And yeah, get ready for a New Year's video to be coming soon. I'm going to be probably filming that next week. And yeah, let me know below if you guys want to see anything else. Don't forget to go on my Instagram and check out the 12 Days of Christmas. You don't want to miss those giveaways, girl. They are freaking awesome. Um, if I do say so myself. So, yeah, that's it, you guys. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you on my next video. Bye, guys.